Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. Kum Shibenta, Ban Kintu, but I'm in Sim, Niki cannot sum la, but can one shakman, Nakabenta, but Bendep Yaging at Hub Wood, Haganiki election MP, Kaban Long, Hagakat Kandaitri, Uyayong, Nakalianka Office of District Election Officer, Mentaka Sneak Hat Lightrik, Uyayong Arajar Arpusau, Kilapun Long, Dark Systematic Voters Education and Electoral Participation, Yakabalapun Long has seen Edmunds College. Kajing Tmu Jongan Yaging Puns Noto Pipe Bar. Kalong ban pin shy, shaki kna samla halor ka jing don kam ban wan shakmat, ban pin pao yaka ega baki trang, ling ba ka la jungga jinga don ban ta lang, haka ban tap wood. La pin shong shit shu shu yaka nika sngi lang baki jing rwai baki jing shat, kibalation ban ta riki kna samla puli, jungga St. Edmunds College, shlong. Actually, I am uh, currently posted as uh, Assistant Commissioner uh, in the DC office, uh, Shillong. And I am also the nodal officer for sweep activities for uh, district election officers, uh, officer. So we are conducting this open mic so in colleges so that we g give an opportunity to the students to voice their opinions uh, regarding voting and uh, to motivate their uh, peers also to go and vote. It's my humble request to everyone to uh, go and vote on the April 19th. Uh, April 19th is the polling date for uh, Meghalaya. Whatever your choice be, just please go and vote because every vote counts and every vote matters, especially uh, for a place like Meghalaya where the margins are very less. So every vote matters. And uh, especially if uh, people see youth participating, this uh, also makes the politicians more accountable, the government more accountable. So I would request again to go and uh, uh, vote on April uh, 19th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I would also like to thank Megburn for all the support they are giving and also to St. Edmunds College for all the uh, support and uh, to all the students also who will perform today for their uh, support and help. Thank you. Person on certain platforms, so the majority of the audience would be the youth. The youth being the backbone of the magic turnout of each and every voting, each and every polling station, be it in every constituencies, in every state, or the entire nation as a whole. So I would urge each and every single one to take upon this opportunity and view it as a responsibility, to view it as something that is personal, that if we want to make a change, if we want a stable government, if we want to change the current political scenario, we have to take it up as something personal and go out of the line and vote on the 19th of April so that there would be a certain amount of impact on the current youth and they can see that what, that what the youth of the country of India is able to make an impact on the political scenario. And also I would urge the public and every single one uh, watching this program to search for, to look at the candidates for the upcoming general election and induction to the lower house of the parliament. As the previous student here said, that the most research on the candidates are going to contest for the Lok Sabha elections. Just make sure that on the 19th of April you sow the seed so that you reap a good fruit on the 1st of June. So you won't regret even if your candidate has lost the election, but as long as you know that you voted for someone who would have made a change. Just don't be influenced by the uh, communal feelings, by the fear of certain political parties, but take a stand and make a change. Don't just be influenced by certain political songs. Just don't be influenced by you being tied up for certain representative representing you and your constituency for the past years. Take up responsibility and vote for someone who will make a change in the very many perspectives that our constituency of Shimon and also Tura and also the entire tribal based state of Meghalaya needs. Maybe the issues of the unemployment of the state is dealing, the development issues. We need much more than things that will only suffice our communal issues, our communal feelings. We need much more than that. We need our own medical institutions, we need our engineering institutions, we need a lot of development, the unemployment issues. We need protection of children and women 
and much more out of the box. We need someone who would go to the Lok Sabha and represent such issues. So I urge each and every single one of you to go ahead, take a stand on the 19th of June and make sure that you do cast a vote and make a change as Aesop said that united we stand and divided we fall. Thank you. Officer, in collaboration with MMUN, we gather here today to celebrate our democratic rights and responsibilities. Today, we especially extend our warm welcome to our first-time voters who may be casting their votes for the first time in this upcoming general elections. Voting is not merely a right. It is a profound duty and privilege bestowed upon us. As first-time voters, you hold the power to shape our cause of our country's future. Your voice matters and is essential to understand the weight of your vote. My economics teacher once said, the only thing that is constant in this world is change itself. In this world where change is constant, your vote becomes the beacon of hope. The catalyst for progress is your chance to stand up for what you believe in, to advocate for the issues that resonate with you and to shape the policies that will impact generations to come. Not only you, but the power comes with responsibilities. Take the time to educate yourself about the candidates, the platforms, the plans for you, for the society and for the nation as a whole. Engage in constructive dialogues, ask questions and challenge perspective. Your informed decision will not only shape your future but also the future of our society as a whole. Remember, just like a car needs petrol to work, democracy thrives when its citizens actively participate. By casting your vote, you contribute to the collective voice of the people, ensuring that our government truly represents the will of the governed. So, to our first-time voters, I urge you to embrace this opportunity with enthusiasm and commitment. Let your vote be a testament to your values, your aspirations and your dreams for a better tomorrow. Thank you for joining us today. And like the day in our eyes up, our eyes unafraid, our eyes up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chilling, chilling. 